In this video, we show you how to correctly install the Pico CI30 inverter from Costa. Please note the information relating to installation and proper use of the device. In addition to the Pico CI30, the scope of delivery includes the following accessories, a quick start guide, an assembly bracket, a cover for the AC connection, three bolts with nuts and washers M12, a lock screw M6, an installation kit comprising, plug seals for installation communication cables with three plugs, a plug connector for the communication interface, core end sleeves, 12X for communication cables, a Wi-Fi antenna, an M25 cable gland, DC plug connectors and pin contacts, as well as a disassembly tool. During installation, you will need protective conductor cable with ring cable lug to fit, PV cable for the DC connection, and a network cable for the communication connection. The type plate on the left side of the inverter contains the serial number, technical details, and warnings. The connection area can be found on the underside of the housing. The device provides various interfaces for connecting to other inverters, sensors, energy meters, or the internet. Up to six DC connections are provided to connect the PV generators. To make these connections, use the pair of Amphenol H4 connectors provided with the corresponding contacts. Next to the DC connector panels, you will find communication interfaces for the Pico CI30. The two Ethernet interfaces in the COM2 connector panel allow the inverter to be integrated into the local network. The inverter can use a network connection to transmit its data to the Coastal Solar Portal. The multipoint connector has an RS-485 interface and digital inputs for ripple control receivers and the smart AC switch. The cable aperture next to the COM2 connector panel allows the mains cable to be guided into the inverter's terminal compartment. The AC grid connection is located on the underside of the housing on the right-hand side. The status LEDs are located on the front of the housing. These provide information about the inverter's operational status. Fit the assembly bracket vertically on a level installation surface. Hang the Pico CI30 centrally on the assembly bracket and also use the lock screw provided to secure the inverter in place. Ensure that the DC switch is in the off position and that the AC line is voltage free and secure to prevent it being switched back on. Remove the connection cover screws and lead the mains cable through. Unscrew the cable gland sealing ring and press in the protective diaphragm. Guide the individual mains cable wires through the sealing ring. Use the correct ring cable lugs M6 to connect the wires to the AC connection terminal, following the labeling. Start with the PE cable. Reattach the connection cover on the AC connection and screw it down. Screw the ceiling ring back down with the cable on the inverter. The AC cable is now connected and can now be properly laid in the sub distribution. Now remove protective cap from connection thread and screw the Wi Fi antenna provided onto the connector bolt. Establish the internet connection with your inverter at the COM2 connector panel. Start by releasing the screws from the cover and removing the cover. Remove the plug seal and replace it with the appropriate plug with multiple ducts, which is supplied. Guide the Ethernet cable through the COM2 cover and connect it to one of the two LAN RJ45 sockets. Seal the LAN cable with a sealing ring and union nut. Note. To connect to an external device, such as a data logger, connect an RS-485 cable to the plug provided. 
and connect this to the interface in the COM2 connector panel. Then establish the connection with your computer, router, or switch. Screw the cover back onto the inverter and seal the cable with a sealing ring and union nut. If you want to record generation and consumption values, or you want to control the inverter's output power to the public grid, you will have to install a Coastal Smart Energy Meter. Perform the installation as described before, using the COM2 connector panel on the multipoint connector and select the RS485A interface on the Coastal Smart Energy Meter for the Pico CI30. For this task, please refer to the operating manual and watch the Coastal videos for the Smart Energy Meter. Now connect the PV cables with the inverter. Pico CI30 uses Amphenol plug connectors of the type Helios H4. Turn DC switch on inverter to OFF position. Remove blue protective caps from connection sockets and plug pair of Amphenol H4 connectors onto DC inputs until you hear them engaging. The order in which the connectors are connected should follow the white frame and markings on the device. Ensure an even distribution. The inverter has six DC inputs. Start with the first two PV1 connection sockets and plug the pair of connectors onto the sockets. Connect the second pair of connectors with the two PV4 connection sockets in the right-hand connection area. If using more PV modules, start again in the left-hand connection area and connect the pairs of connectors to the PV2 connection socket. Connect the second pair of the PV5 connection socket in right connector panel. Activate the AC fuse and move the DC switch on the Pico CI30 to the ON position. The status LEDs on the front of the inverter flash green. Please refer to the operating manual for the LED operational statuses. To use your smartphone or tablet to assist with commissioning, Please download the Coastal CI app from the App Store or Google Play Store. Activate the Wi-Fi LAN function on your tablet or smartphone and go to the Wi-Fi WLAN settings. Look for your inverter's WLAN network and select it. Enter 12345678 as the password and confirm your input. Answer the check question with stay and launch the app. The app displays the inverters it finds. Select the inverter you want to commission. Once the app reports connect, the inverter is connected. Select the settings page in the app. The app now displays various menus where you can perform various configurations. To set configure the country setting, you will need administrator access authorization. To set this up, go to user management and then click on the change user button. Click on the login as administrator button and enter the password super admin. Configure the settings for inverter operation. To do this, go to the settings page and then Inverter Settings. Then select the time and date and confirm your input. Then select the grid guidelines you need in the Network Settings menu. More settings may be needed. When configuring them, please observe the grid operator's requirements. Initial commissioning is complete and the inverter is up and running. You can now configure more settings in your inverter, such as setting the country guideline, feed-in limitation, etc.